It's the third of the way. All is well. I only threw it twice. Third of the way. Every day you were talking to Paul before. Have you ever tried to wipe your butt with a wet wipe? A wet wipe? <laughs> Guess where we're going next? Right there. <laughs> if it's big and in front of us, that's where we're going. <laughs> Our second show. Well, uh, for Socks and Charlie and I, we just want to take a moment here to say thank you so much to all of you. Um, there's literally thousands now that are reading our blog and watching our YouTube channel. It's, it's, it's overwhelming to us. Those of you that are writing uh, comments and emails and texting and uh, communicating with us in so many different ways, um, thank you so much. You're such an encouragement. You, ca you can't imagine how encouraging it is. Uh, every time I, I'm able, I have AT&T, and AT&T doesn't work very good at all in the South. But when I do have a signal and I'm able to see the, the comments, uh, it, you just can't believe how encouraging it is to hear from you. I just want to let you know that, that we read them, and uh, I... I I, I truly covet them, I really do, and so thank you. I'm, I'm sorry I haven't responded to each and every one of them, but there's just no way. I, I don't have the time with my computer uh, or a cell signal to be able to do that all appropriately, but I did want to uh, just to let you know that we certainly are watching them. And those of you that are asking questions, uh, very good questions, by the way, uh, rather than just answer them in a comment, I've been trying to incorporate those within the video. Like some of you have been asking about the kind of camera equipment I use and how I filter my water and what do I cook with and what's our tent look like and all those kinds of things. So uh, if I don't answer your question in a period of time, uh, send me another comment and say, Tom, you missed it, buddy. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to get it in there. But for those, all of you that have, have done so much for us, uh, uh, trail magic in so many different ways, uh, sending us things, and, and um, uh, even one fellow even donating money so that Terry could uh, stay at Woods Hole Hostel. Uh, it's just amazing. Um, for all of you that have sent me your phone numbers because you live along the trail at some place and want me to give you a call uh, so that you could uh, pick me up along the trail, I, I just, I'm just i just so grateful for all of that. Those of you that have, have wanted to know how it is that you could send packages of cookies and goodies and things like that, I, I just can't begin to tell you how, how grateful we are. So I just want to take a second and say thanks. From TNT Plus C on the trail, we are grateful. Slack packing today from Boblet's Gap back to Daleville. And uh, gosh, it's a beautiful day. A little warm, a little humid, but uh, pretty nice. So, well, who are you guys? My name's Clever Girl. I'm Dump Truck. Well, how'd you get those names? Um, I got mine, if you've ever seen Jurassic Park, there's a moment right before a guy gets eaten by a velociraptor and he goes, clever girl. And my, uh, my, one of my hiking partners noted that when I don't have my hiking poles and I hold my arms, my pack like this, I look like a little velociraptor. Uh -huh. So he said, I'm like, clever girl. And that's where I got my name from. Interesting. Um, I got dump truck because, uh, well, it started way back before the trail. Um, it started with Clever Girl and our buddy Apollo talking about the worst trail name you could give somebody. <laughs> and they were joking and saying that Dump Truck would be the worst. And I was like, yeah, that would be pretty rotten. They're like, we're going to call you Dump Truck. And I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> joking about it. And then we got out here and then it turned out that every time I had to get, I didn't know how to pack my pack for like the first two weeks. So every time I had to get something out of my bag, I had to take everything out of my bag just to get Stuff everywhere. Out. Just like dumping all the payload of my pack down. So it sort of felt fitting after that. So I sort of took it on. Nice. But yeah, nice. it was good. Yeah, you just gotta own a name like that. Yeah. Yeah. There's only one dump truck on the trail. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Only There'll one dump truck. There'll never be another. <laughs> He's got a dump truck patch on his back. Oh right? yeah, I've got this sweet dump truck. Yeah, sweet oh, dump truck. Nice. And I've got a Velociraptor. 
Wow, you guys are <laughs> styling here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. You gotta look the best. Where so. are you from? Most recently, New York City. We lived oh. there for the past five years. Um, I'm a marriage and family therapist. Dub Trucks a photographer. Oh. We were feeling done with New York City, so we decided if we're gonna up and move states, we might as well take six months off in the middle and live in the woods. Sweet. Yeah. Seems like a good way to get out of a city mentality into yeah. a... Oh, yeah. <laughs> into yeah. a more nature-driven mentality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell me something interesting about the trail. Um, let's see. We have been through basically every okay. hardship you could possibly imagine, and um, we're still having fun. Yeah, the trail, for whatever reason, has such a good spirit to it that even though we've been through so much, we still wake up every day smiling. We've been through it. Dump truck, dump truck dislocated his shoulder. I had hypothermia and frostbite. I had dehydration so bad I had seizures. What else happened to us? We, um, oh, we got trapped in the Smokies and we had to ration our food because we didn't we, were, we didn't have enough food because the road to Gatlinburg was closed. Uh, hiker flu, which oh, is hiker kind flu. of, kind I had of it a twice. common thing. I did twice. He had it once. Um, um, but I mean, all that aside, it's been oh, it's, yeah. it's been incredible. Who are you? Uh, my name's Wild Thing. Wild Thing. How, how did you get a name such as Wild Thing? There was a couple of guys on the trail at the Natahala Center, and they decided silver didn't fit me, and they said Wild Thing, and. They sang to me from the mountains. And really? It's a song, Wild Thing. So when was that? Twelve years ago. Twelve years ago. So you got your trail name twelve years ago, and now you're out hiking again. What 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 happened? Oh, bad health. I had an accident on the trail, and did a place plant, plant banged a knee up, then elbow, and had to walk out. Oh. So I'm back. So you're back to do how much? Um, about 1,400 and something miles. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Well, uh, and I'll be 70 in December. So. 70. I'll be 60 in September. So very good. I, I know how much it hurts being 60. I can only imagine how much it'll hurt being 70. Today's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> this your first day. Yes. Oh boy. A lot of sweat equity today. <laughs> it's a hot day. Yes. It's a hot day. Well, thank you so much, Wild Thing. I appreciate it. You're welcome. There's no way to capture the size of these rocks. But these rocks are put here by the people of the CCC many, many years ago. And this wall here is uh, amazing. It's just... It's probably a hundred feet tall, and uh, uh, well, I'm not at this point. I'm not even sure how far it goes, but uh, unbelievable. This is about the nicest shelter that we've had so far. It's supposed to be able to fit 20 people. 
and it's got a loft and it's got a huge overhang and tables and places to sit and the whole building is mortise and tendon there's no nails in it it's whoever built this building did an amazing job breakfast underway here. I have a little oatmeal and some bagels and peanut butter. My bed. Beautiful space. A whole loft up above. Notice how big these Tables are, I guess you could sit on them and use them, but they're all mortise and tendon. Just beautiful work. Goodbye, Bryant Ridge Shelter. You were awesome. Best on the trail so far. Call this the guillotine.
Dang. Another mountain. No end of those suckers. Damn rocks. Not sure if the camera will focus on it, but right there is my first look at the James River. Ha. Dad's name. Tim. Hey, old farts. Oh. Is it on? Yeah, oh, red yeah. lights on. Uh, it's not. It's on. <laughs> oh boy. We're so excited for you guys. This is gonna be one heck of an adventure. It's gonna be a special time for the two of you. It's uh something you've dreamed about for a long time, and it's preparations done, the packing's done, the car's loaded, dog food's packed. It's time to go hike. So I'm slightly jealous that you can just take the next six months off to relax and hike and take pictures and meet new interesting people and sleep outside and figure out how you're gonna get a glass of water or how you're gonna dry your clothes out so you can continue in warmth or, you know, a lot of different situations. How you're gonna get to the post office to get your package, you know. It's, it's gonna be fun. You're gonna grow a lot together and uh, certainly cherish this experience because it's, it's pretty special and there's not a lot of people that get to enjoy something like this, so. Cheers to you guys. I love you. I know you can do it and I'll be praying for you, and I will be out there in May to hike with you for a few days and enjoy it and meet some of these crazy people. So until then, keep your head down and one step at a time, one foot in front of the other. I love you guys. So when I think about what you're doing, I'm not exactly sure whether you're totally crazy or... <laughs> It's going to be the best thing that's ever happened to you, but I'm pretty certain that it's probably going to be the best thing that's ever happened to you. And I'm really excited for you to be able to do it together. And I'm really glad that I will be able to follow you and watch what you're doing and um, be able to share that with everyone here. So I know that you're going to do great, and um, I can't wait to see how Chuck holds out. And um, I'm really excited for you, so I hope that... You think about us while you're gone, because we'll be thinking about you, and just remember that we love you and we're cheering you on. Thanks, guys. Love you guys.
the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They'll soar high on wings like eagles. They'll run and not grow weary. They'll walk and not faint.